So when we were trying to come up with a name for the gallery, uh, we first started with just one dog, and then all of a sudden there was a new addition to the family. It just appeared out of nowhere. Yes. <laughs> and that was Sydney, and Sydney being a Roan Australian Shepherd, and uh, Betty being a Black Border Collie mix, that's how we came up with the name Roan and Black. I'm John Newland, I'm originally from Indiana. Kind of lived all over the East area mostly, uh, practiced as an architect and designer and uh, finally had the opportunity to be living out a dream of opening my art gallery with my partner Doug. And I'm Doug McIntosh. I'm a military brat, so I've lived everywhere. Six grade schools, six states, and uh, that was just grade school, so... I'm so <laughs> sorry. Whole <laughs> thing's up. Uh, Turn that yeah, off. Yeah, nice. I'll put two Photos started the day we, uh, we closed on the building, November 1. So that's the building that we bought. It's a 1950s mechanics garage, auto body shop, that uh, unfortunately over the last probably 10, 15 years, it's been really run down. It was one of those things, as soon as it went on the market, Doug and I came in, and within two minutes we looked at each other and said, this is going to be our art gallery. We went home that night, did sketches, made an offer the next morning, and while we're breathing new life into it, this process has brought new life to us in many ways. Actually. It has. It is about the contemporary, to give, taking something old and giving it a fresh new spin. Uh, what's also great about this building is Are you talking about you or? Hey, <laughs> me. We had a wonderful mentor who said, you know, if you're really going to do this, get to know the artist, go visit them. The detail. The detail. The cast bridge is yeah. pretty amazing. Um, Doug and I both have the philosophy, how can we tell their story if we don't know them? So we met them, we found out their background, we saw where they worked. And it was really a kind of a special treat for us because they just opened up. They, it, these artists were so grateful that we came to them to find out what makes them tick. She was known for her goats. She's probably she's close to 70. She looks like Catherine Pepper. She wears a smock with scarves. When you ask someone, you know, how did you come to this color palette and find it, it might have been that they were actually colorblind and that actually adds to that and it's something that we, we love to celebrate, you know, it explains things and it gets that human connection there. It's, it's just... But to that, one of our artists who happens to be our youngest artist, he had a very interesting palette. We did find out he was colorblind and we had this a young couple in here just one of many who were admiring his work. And she said, I've got to have his pieces. Tell me about this guy. And I brought up the story and she said, do you know what I do for a living? She said, I teach the visually impaired. And it was just amazing. She had that connection to the artwork. There are two of his paintings right there above me. <laughs> Isn't it like that? Artists for the masses. I mean, it, it truly is. And that's kind of our philosophy in the gallery. We have, we have the great pieces for the seasoned collector. But for someone who might come to Sagatuck and want a memento, we actually have pieces that they can take home as a souvenir. Very yeah. affordable pieces yeah. of really good art well by very well-established artists that they can take home. And when they look at that piece on their wall, they look back and they have this fond memory of, my God, that was that great week I spent with my family or my friends in this beautiful part of the country. And art should be affordable. That's good. You've got to speak your piece. It's, it's just, it's awesome. You know, you have people who live in old firehouses, you have people who live in old schoolhouses, and we get to live in a mechanics garage that's now an art gallery. And every ounce of it is us. Every brief scene.